Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss domain and range of inverse trigonometric functions. Till now we have discussed trigonometric functions y is equal to sin x, y is equal to cos x, y is equal to tan x. And we also know the domain and range of these functions. Now we know that domain refers to the input values and range refers to the output values. Now here domain of this function that is y is equal to sin x is the set of all real numbers. And range is the closed interval minus 1 to 1. Now for the trigonometric function y is equal to cos x. Domain is the set of all real numbers and range is the closed interval minus 1 to 1. And for the trigonometric function y is equal to tan x. Domain is the set of all real numbers except pi by 2 plus n pi where n is any integer and range is the set of all real numbers. Now we also know a function y is equal to f of x is 1 1 if Every element in set capital X, that is domain, corresponds to a unique element. in such capital Y that is the range and if a function is 1 1 then we can find inverse of a function which is given by x is equal to f inverse of y. Now here for inverse function, the domain is set capital Y and range is set capital X. This means domain is a set of different values of Y for which the function is defined and the range is the set of corresponding values of X for which the function is defined. Now in this session we will find inverse of trigonometric functions that is we will find inverse sine function, inverse cosine function and inverse tangent function their graphs, domain and range. First of all let us discuss inverse sine function that is y is equal to sine inverse x. First of all, we will see that whether the function y is equal to sin x is 1 to 1 in the domain of all real numbers. Now here, let us consider the graph of y is equal to sin x. Now here, the value of sin of pi by 6 is equal to 1 by 2 and sin of 5 pi by 6 is equal to 1 by 2. So here we have the ordered pairs pi by 6, 1 by 2 and 5 pi by 6, 1 by 2. This means for two distinct values of x we have same value of y 
it means it is not one to one since it does not have distinct values of y for distinct values of x so as y is equal to sin x that is the function y is equal to sin x is not one to one so we cannot find the inverse of sin function but if we restrict its domain to a particular interval for which each x in this restricted domain has a distinct value of y then the function becomes one to one and we can find inverse sin function given by y is equal to sin inverse x now we know that in first quadrant sin is positive and in fourth quadrant sin is negative so for every value of x such that x varies from 0 to pi by 2 there is exactly one non negative value of sin x and for every value of x such that minus pi by 2 is less than equal to x is less than 0 there is exactly one negative value of sin x so in the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 we have distinct value of y for every value of x belonging to this interval and outside this interval the values repeat so the function y is equal to sin x is 1 to 1 in the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 thus its inverse exists in this interval so here we have restricted the domain that is here the domain is the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 that is here x varies from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so the function is 1 to 1 and its inverse exists now inverse sin function is given by sin inverse x now we know in inverse function the domain and range interchange that is the domain of the given function becomes a range of its inverse and range of the given function becomes domain of its inverse so for the inverse trigonometric function y is equal to sin inverse x the domain is the closed interval minus 1 to 1 and range is the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 now here the domain is the closed interval minus 1 to 1 it means minus 1 is less than equal to x is less than equal to 1 that means here x varies from minus 1 to 1 and as the range is the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so minus pi by 2 is less than equal to y is less than equal to pi by 2 it means here y varies from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so here for sin function with a restricted domain now here 
for the function y is equal to sin x. We have got the domain which is equal to the set containing the element x such that minus pi by 2 is less than equal to x is less than equal to pi by 2 and range is the set containing the element y such that minus 1 is less than equal to y is less than equal to 1. So this is the case for the sine function with a restricted domain. Now for the inverse sine function that is y is equal to sine inverse x we have domain is equal to set containing element x such that minus 1 is less than equal to x is less than equal to 1 and range is a set containing the element y such that minus pi by 2 is less than equal to y is less than equal to pi by 2 it means when we put the value of x belonging to the closed interval minus 1 to 1, we get the corresponding angle. Now also you should note that sine inverse of sine theta is equal to theta where theta belongs to the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Now here let x is equal to 1 by 2. So, y is equal to sine inverse of 1 by 2. Now, we know that sine is 1 by 2 at an angle of pi by 6. That is, sine of pi by 6 is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, y is equal to sine inverse of sine pi by 6 which implies y is equal to pi by 6. And now let us discuss inverse cosine function. Now the cosine function like sine function is not one to one in its domain. So here also we restrict its domain to make it one to one function that has an inverse function. Now let us discuss cosine function from this diagram. Now in first quadrant that is where x varies from 0 to pi by 2 the cosine function has exactly one non-negative value and in the second quadrant where x is greater than pi by 2 and less than equal to pi cosine function has exactly one negative value as we know cosine function is positive in first quadrant and it is negative in second quadrant so we have distinct value of y for every value of x belonging to the closed interval 0 to pi. So, we restrict the domain of the function y is equal to cos x to the closed interval 0 to pi. So, we define inverse cosine function given by y is equal to cos inverse of x with domain which is the closed interval minus 1 to 1 and range as the closed interval 0 to pi thus we have cosine function with a restricted domain and here, 
The function y is equal to cos x has domain which is equal to set containing the element x such that 0 is less than equal to x is less than equal to pi and range is a set containing the element y such that minus 1 is less than equal to y is less than equal to 1. And for inverse cosine function that is y is equal to cos inverse of x domain is a set containing the element x such that minus 1 is less than equal to x is less than equal to 1 and range is a set containing the element y such that 0 is less than equal to y is less than equal to pi. And here also you must note that cos inverse of cos theta is equal to theta where theta belongs to the closed interval 0 to pi. So y gives angle here which will belong to principal value given by the closed interval 0 to pi. Now let us discuss inverse tangent function. Now like sine and cosine functions, the tangent function is also not one to one in its domain. So here also we restrict its domain to make it one to one function that has an inverse function. Now in the first quadrant that is for 0 is less than equal to x is less than pi by 2. There is exactly one non-negative value of tangent function and in the fourth quadrant that is for minus pi by 2 is less than x is less than 0. There is exactly one negative value of tangent function. So x belongs to the open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Now here we have taken open interval because term is not defined at pi by 2. So we have distinct value of y for every value of x belonging to this open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So here we have restricted the domain to the open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So we define inverse tangent function given by y is equal to tan inverse of x and domain of this function is set of real numbers and range is the open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Thus we have tangent function with a restricted domain and here y is equal to tan x has domain which is equal to set containing the element x such that minus pi by 2 is less than x is less than pi by 2 and range is a set containing the element y such that y is a real number. And for inverse tangent function that is y is equal to tan inverse x domain is a set containing the element x such that x is a real number and range is a set containing the element y such that minus pi by 2 is less than y is less than pi by 2. Also you must note that tan inverse of tan theta is equal to theta where theta belongs to the open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So for the inverse trigonometric function y is equal to tan inverse x y gives an angle which will belong to principal value given by the open interval minus pi by 2 
टू पाई बाय टू सो इन दिस सेशन वी हैव लर्न डोमेन एंड रेंज ऑफ इनवर्स ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन एंड दिस कम्प्लीट द सेशन होप यू ऑल हैव एंजॉय द सेशन